4,000 IDPs. Um, they are IDPs because for two reasons. One, uh, due to bandit activities. Two, uh, because of the uh, construction of Zungeru Hydro Dam. Uh, some of the communities, it wasn't anticipated that um, water would uh, take over their communities by now. But um, due to nature, um, some of the communities are underwater at the moment. So they have to leave their communities and they have not been paid their compensation so they can move to highlands. Uh, the Federal Ministry of Works has already made provisions for compensation for those communities to move to higher lands or higher grounds. Somehow the release of funds have been slow. Some communities have been paid already, uh, compensated. But when it comes to nature, you can't really tell. So, um, yes, uh, there are plans to compensate them. But nobody thought the water would be here by now. So the first thing to do is to send an SOS to the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing so that they will attend to these communities immediately so they can move out to higher grounds. So what you have here, you have those displaced by, by, by bandits and those displaced by water from Zungeru Dam. Both cases are serious and very severe situations. You can see, for a primary school like this, you have 4,000 people. We are more concerned that a pandemic can easily spread around here. We are making every effort. The security agencies have been up to the task and up to it in the last two weeks. And they have dealt decisively with a good number of bandits. So as it is right now, the area is a bit uh, calm, but of course, uh, we still have pockets of bandits coming in and out. We have the Boko Haram elements around uh, Chiruru uh, that uh, I understand have planted uh, IEDs as at 4 a.m. this morning in Galadim and Kogo. The police is making all efforts to go and uh, detonate those IEDs. So overall, I'm quite happy with the progress made by the security agencies. Their new tactics and strategy is working. But of course, the size of the state is a disadvantage. And the number of boots on ground is not enough. So uh, we have to work on getting more men on ground and other components. I am very confident that uh, in the next few weeks, uh, these IDPs will go back to their various communities. Unfortunately, most of their villages have been burnt down. So even when they go back now, they have nowhere to stay. Within our limited resources, we must find ways to support some of these communities so that they will get their lives back and go back to their farms. The rains are fast approaching, and most of the people, almost all of them here are farmers. If they don't go back to their farms, it wouldn't be a problem for Niger alone, but a problem for Nigeria as it relates to food security. And most of these local governments uh, produce uh, a substantial amount of uh, food because they are mostly farmers. They have very fertile grounds and all they do is farming. We must not allow this to happen. We must do whatever it takes so that they go back to their various homes and their farms. Oh! <laughs>